New at six, destroyed in an inferno. This was the scene last July when a popular bakery went up in flames. Today, that local landmark rose from the ashes in a highly anticipated grand reopening. Eyewitness News reporter Mike Montecavo joins us live in our newsroom with details. Karen, De Paul Mary's Bakery has been a neighborhood fixture in Johnston, and customers tell me not even an oven fire can keep this local landmark down. I've never been accused of One, two, three. All right. Yeah. A slice of Rhode Island history. Someone called me this morning, can I just come get a loaf of bread at the side door? Like that's how much they miss it, so we're honored today. You had to be happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah, very happy. Take a closer look. People fill Deep Hall Mary's on Killingly Street in Johnston. You know, you go around town, you talk to a lot of people, what are they building here, what are they building? And one of the questions is always, when's Paul Mary's going to reopen? A fire in the early morning hours of July 15th destroyed this 100-year-old family operation. A faulty thermostat in a first floor oven caused this massive inferno. Owner Stephen Palmieri says rebuilding was a dream come true. From the first night of the fire, and we're just sitting there like devastated, and it just was a dream that I, I knew was going to happen eventually. And customers couldn't be happier. It's an, an institution in the town of Johnson. It has been for many years, and having the smell back is good. Oh, you love the smell? Oh, yeah. I live right down the street. The smell I missed. Every weekend I'm here for cold cuts, bread, and everything. The family comes, it's just great food. I see you have your box already. Already. Been waiting for months. And now the wait is over. I always believe something good is going to come from something that's bad. So I just had faith and moved forward. Steve Palmieri also tells me he never wanted to relocate. He owed it to his customers to remain in Johnston. Live in the newsroom, Mike Montecalvo, Eyewitness.